The FDS cam design intent was to make the most accurate cam we can. It's building on that accuracy. How far can we push this? How stable can we make it at full draw? We took what we've learned, you know, with the Evolve cam. It's like, what actually are we winning at and how do we win at that more? What can we build on to make this even better? We've had the Evolve cam for almost 10 years now and you know, we always get the comment like, don't ever go away from that cam. Bows have typically been measured at rest. The number that matters is what is that effective brace height? What is that number at full draw? That's the number that we're looking at when we design this cam. How much does it gain brace height? Is that effective brace height actually increase or decrease? Some bows in the industry decrease where your six inch brace height bow at full draw is shooting more like a five and a half inch brace height. Right now an Evolve cam might be gaining a quarter inch to a half an inch of effective brace height depending on the bow. With this FDS cam, it's gaining over an inch of effective brace height. So your six inch brace height bow is turned into more than seven at full draw. FDS, which is force distribution system, it's more of a consistent pull all the way through, so it's smooth. It's next level. How smooth the draw is on this speed bow is just absolutely amazing. The draw cycle's like beyond smooth. I've shot some of the best groups I've ever shot. They redesigned these draw stops. They're a little bit more flat. So when you get all the way to the back wall, boom, you kind of just settle in and it's rock solid. The draw force curve is something that you feel when you do draw the bow back. Having a draw force curve that stores the most energy is going to give you the potential to have a faster bow. What we've learned is you can ramp up really fast and it's not that offensive to people as long as that ramp up is linear. My favorite thing about the FDS cam is that apart from being super smooth, super linear, super constant, it stores a lot of energy getting you more speed, but also it's super stable and we have been measuring the speeds and the variation of speeds between each arrow has been under half a feet per second. We're trying to you know, teach people that at full draw is where it matters. The speeds I'm getting out of this new Mach 33 with the FDS cams is pretty wild. I'd expect to have a really aggressive cam to get these kind of speeds, but that's not the case with this FDS cam. It's super smooth from start to finish and has a nice let off at the end. And even letting down the bow is just one rip you forward either. Even shooter shooter, we see that people who naturally might tear left, his buddy might tear right. The amount of left, the amount of right, when they shoot the same bow set up the same way with the FDS cam, is a significant amount less. You don't give up post shot feel, you don't give up accuracy, but you get the most speed that you can while still having a comfortable bow to shoot.